We're ready. We're it's ready. Time for segment four, the if bomb with the Coon Prairie Ramblers circled up here in the little prairie house. We hope you're ready. We hope you're prepared to meet your maker because here she comes. It's a whole earth shaker. Sing hallelujah. Here we go. Goodness gracious, Man, great ball of fire. I think yeah. that's the same one they felt last night in Oklahoma, yeah. the earthquake. Yeah. That was a 5.0. 5.3, but know. I think they said it wasn't as bad as what it yeah. was. Talked to now, my son. I talked to my son late last night, and he said they didn't feel it. Somebody yeah. on Facebook, a friend of mine, put on there, did y'all feel that? Hmm. I'm like, wow. Hmm. Worry oh, about that. Anyway, we got an if bomb for you. Hmm. If you could go back 40 years. Love to. And... Change, Start make, something, instigate something, yeah. implement mm. something into your life that you may be looking back in retrospect now wishing you had. What might that be? Hmm. Well, what? everything's already been invented. What year would it be 40 years ago? Well, 40 years ago, everything wasn't invented. What year was 40 years ago? 76. The, the bicentennial year. The spirit of 76. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The bicentennial year. That was a, that's the year I moved out of my – moved to – Moved out of my house. I was. Uh, I started college late, so I was kind of like a, a sophomore in college in '76. Wow! And working, and um, had no idea what I was going to do, what my career path was going to be. I was thinking, well, I'll just get me a college degree, and then maybe it'll come to me. All that money will come in. Come yeah. in. Where were you 40 years ago? I was uh, actually. I, I was always. Ha- I've always had sick cars, and I, I remember in nineteen se- in seventy six, I spent a lot of time at the Union seventy six gas station getting my car fixed. You had a living, huh? Yeah. So and the should... guy that worked there had a, a. The first time I ever took a ride in a in a Corvette was Ooh, in nineteen seventy six. He gave me a ride in his Corvette. Was it a 76 Corvette? No, it was an older. It was in the yeah, 80s. I, was I mean, it was the 60s. It was the, 70, the 70s. The 76s were that dead years when yeah. they weren't very fast right. or anything. Yeah, this is a, it was like a late 60s, you know, one of the classics. They were pretty quick. But um, I don't know. It was. It seems like a winter. The winter. Wait a minute. Was that, that was kind of close to the winter, the, the big winter, the, the the freeze when the higher river froze up. I don't know. Uh and, and you would have had, you had it down here, but uh, the, everything came to a standstill on a high in seventy. It was seventy seven. Seventy seven. Oh, yeah. We got to back up a year. Yeah, but anyway, what what I have done different? What I, if we went back to my high school years, I think I would have tried to have been a better student. Okay. Maybe things. <laughs> you know. I tried to learn something. But. Yeah. Seventy six, I uh, moved out of the house from my parents, my sisters in uh, seventy six. Summer of that year, got my first trailer. Me and my buddy Buford lived in on my lot there at Nocatee, and got my first post office box, which I still have, maintained all these years. Really? For some reason, it's my little piece of Nocatee. I still got the property in the post office box. Yeah. I don't get any mail or get junk mail, but I just pay forty bucks a year for that, or forty eight, whatever it is now. It's ridiculous. I just do it just to have it. My little piece of Nocatee, but I'd worked three years for the state by then because I went to work in 73 out there. Yeah. But uh, like we were talking before we came back on the air, Casey said something about me playing the guitar, and I didn't pick up the guitar until 93. So I think in 76, I would like to have maybe taken some lessons and figured out something about it. I mean, I'm professional lessons instead of just picking it up and teaching myself a few chords, which is all I do. I you would, might be a finger picker by now. Uh, I hope not, but uh, uh, it's possible. So I probably would have gotten more into music, I think. What I would have done. Here, I thought if you have, uh, have been a, a guitar player all the all, all your life. No, you know, I'm just a strummer. That's all. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm the no. little strummer boy. <laughs> <laughs> Come, <laughs> but see, to me not know anything, you're talking about it. I can't. I can't tell the difference. I think yeah. you got yeah. a good. You, you you have a good sound. It's just it's all rhythm. That's it. That's it. Exactly rhythm. rhythm. And, and a lot of people don't have that rhythm. I've heard a lot of people that can hit the right chords and notes and everything else, but they, their timing ain't right. And then it throws me off, you know, to listen to it, not yeah. to sing or but just to hear it. I'm thinking, come on, do this. You got to make the rhythm match not only the song for the, the correct mood. time beat, but the mood of yeah, it. Whatever it's trying exactly. to convey, you want to try to bring hmm. that out in your strumming. How about you, Casey? What would you do? Well, 1976, I was two years into my marriage, 
and and you would have changed. That. I was working for a. I'll say that for the, <laughs> the Soto County Sheriff's Department, and when I was in school, I was probably one of the worst students that ever lived. I think I learned a lot, but I did not pay attention. High school. I was <clears throat> fortunate in the fact, maybe unfortunate, I don't know what, maybe it's a double-edged thing, but I could get through school without doing anything. I mean, I did not have to study. I did not have to do homework. I did not do, I did the very least that I could do to get by. That was my, once I, I don't say it was my plan, but once I realized I could do that, that's what I did. You just coasted. Yeah, I, exactly. I mean, I I just coasted, and, and I didn't have any focus on thinking, oh, boy, I really need to buckle down and learn. But I did learn. I mean, I, I think I walked away from high school with as much knowledge as you could gain from the Soda County High School that time. I don't think anybody walked out of there in 19 or 68 just with any more knowledge of what you know, or what you learned than I did. I think I, I had the full thing, but I found out that I didn't have to work hard to get it. And, I'm just, and that was just, and that was kind of a bad thing. But did that follow you, that gift? Well, then I did decide to go on to school beyond that. I went to uh, South Florida Community College for one semester. And that's when I found out living over at Avon Park how easy it was to party <laughs> Oh my <laughs> when you're not at home. And so I had nobody to, you know, at answer all to. to answer to. So, I mean, I, I spent a semester of partying, really, and having a good time. And, and I, I don't mean I was like a binge drinker or anything else, but, I mean, every night we were going out to do something. It wasn't like we sat around and watched TV or studied or did anything. I mean, we, me and certain people got together and we'd do all kind of shenanigans and go out and do things. And so after one semester, I quit. And I wish that once I got married and got settled down, that I had went back to school, went back to taking night classes or whatever and got a degree. Yeah. I did. Because I found out that, you know, I guess I was just comfortable in what I was doing and not having to, you know, I had what I had a, jo- a job I liked, and I didn't think, well, I need. It. But now I looking back, I said, man, I wish I would have went back to school yeah. and learned and got more knowledge, and 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 even beyond that, I, I wish I'd have got a four year degree and then maybe went on and got a law degree or something. Yeah. I should have, and, and that's what I would have done if I had my time to go back. I would have would, and it would have been easy to do. I mean, I could have easily, you know, worked my job, took night or day classes, whatever, and you know, certain amount, and got it finished. Mm-hmm. And that's what I should have done. Yeah. So, forty years back, I should have went back to school. Hmm. Yep. Well, w- forty years I had back, it. I should have done worked harder. I was was in school, but I. But uh, I never had the direction. Never had direction. That was me. I had no direction. I, had, I mean, I think until I'm I got doing married. the right thing. But I can't. I couldn't. I couldn't. You know, laser beam on what, just exactly where I was going to go with it. <clears throat> and uh, and I figured well, and, and it did. You know, the college degree helped me get jobs like in the state. You know, I, I couldn't have been a juvenile probation officer without without. And all the jobs I've had, I couldn't have had without a degree. But it was just. It was never really a. You know, everything. It, it was a drift. I just drifted from here to here, here to there, and. I, Wow, <clears throat> and I always kind of thought, well, maybe it was the way I was right. You know, I, I had a, a single mom. You know, she struggled to you know raise me up. So you know, and I you know I never made much demands on her because I knew she was poor and you know couldn't. So uh, you know, it's just and you know she didn't have the time to spend with me. You know, yeah, I don't know. The road not taken. Yep, no yeah. shortage of those. Yeah, Been can't. in the service. I wish I'd have stayed in the service. Yeah, that twenty years goes by quicker yeah. than you think. It did. It went. It, I had mean, that before. pension coming in. I got mean, out a young man. Yeah. And yeah, started I, another career. But twenty years seems like forever when you're eighteen years yeah. old. Oh, that's an eternity. Yeah, it is. It's then you more, get out. More, it's more than you've already lived. Right. Then you then you go in the service. I mean, then you go get a job somewhere. And the next thing you know, you got in twenty years there. Mm-hmm. You say I should have been in the service. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, after 20 years, maybe I could have figured it out, what I wanted, really wanted to do. That probably would have been a good path for me to have taken, would have been when I got out of school. Of course, they didn't want me. Would have been in the military. Got a little bit of direction, a little bit of focus in my life. All kind of regimentation. And then I could have got out and went, <laughs> went to school on a GI Bill. And, yeah, that's right. Uh, now, the only thing I did that I was really good at is that when I did community theater, and I did, you know, some theater, you know, here and there, you know, back before that. And, you know, I'm thinking, oh, that's, that would be a really interesting career. But I can't, I couldn't picture myself in that career, you know, because of what you had to do. Like Polly Holiday, you know, the flow. Right. I mean, I've heard stories where, you know, she was living out of her Volkswagen van, you know, while she's trying to make it on Broadway. I'm thinking, no, nah, I couldn't have done that. <laughs> that would be miserable. Yeah. Ooh. None of us will have to worry 40 years from now what we should have started yeah. 40 years yeah. back to this mm-hmm. day. We can't go back. But if you turn this whole thing around, is there anything today you think you should start that you might wish you'd? It wouldn't be the same thing, probably. Yeah, you, would, you wouldn't You would have been in the, the sewers of G. Pierce Wood, would you have? Maybe not. You would have know. chosen a different route? That's possible. Yeah. That's possible. Music. Where would that route have that that branch have come? I mean, would it right after high school or? I mean, if I hadn't married and just traveled around and been a coffee shop troubadour yeah. all these years, there's no telling. Hmm. Well, yeah, well, it, and that's the whole thing. When we always talk about going back, I would not want to change anything in this world that would change what you have with watching kids right now. Yeah, hmm. I, I, I would not jeopardize. That. No, because any little thing. If it was meant that, oh, I wouldn't have the same grandkids. Or, I mean, I, I, I'm happy with my life. Right. I'm happy with where I'm at. There's things I wish that I had done, right. but I'm happy with where I'm at. So that's that's my message. A lot of regrets. I'm anyway. happy. But we got there, and we got the family we wanted. So, Amen. My goodness, I can't believe the time has gone already again for this week. Well, we hope you're, you're listening and you haven't pulled all your hair out and went crazy after the election results that were earlier this week by the time you're hearing this. So hopefully you'll be back next week, and hopefully we will too. What was our frequency, Kenneth? 1480 AM on your radio dial, WFLN Arcadia News and Information Station.